For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in one, the one named Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is of God, and who is God. And Jesus said in his own words that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And out of the mouth of God, God said, I am the way. So there is nothing and no one else that you are to get access to God the Father outside of Jesus Christ. When Jesus said he is the way, there is no other way to God except through Jesus. It's not in the form of religion. It's not in the form of science. It's not even what you think. Education will not get you to the Father. But by Jesus Christ alone. That is the mercy and grace of God that we have been given Jesus Christ to save our soul. And there is no hope outside the blessed hope of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are hopeless without Jesus. You will go to hell without Jesus. And the Bible says that there is none that doeth good. Let me tell you, hell is full of good people when you're going to say, well, I'm good. So are a lot of people in hell. And when we think about going to hell, we think about the outcast of mankind. And true, wickedness and evil goes to hell. So do good people. So do men that be proper husbands and proper fathers. Family men go to hell. Women who are dedicated to their husbands and dedicated to their children okay, thank you. are in hell. And you will go to hell because you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. As I said, there is none that doeth good. You are not and will not and cannot be good enough to get to a place called heaven. And in your goodness, you'll end up in a place called hell being good. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You are a good sinner. You sin very good. And yet your good will not get you to heaven. You have done a good job in performing your sin. And your good job is not going to cleanse you of your sin. And when you rely on being good, to please God, your good has become a sin. 
because you have rejected Jesus Christ for being good. When the scriptures say there is none that doeth good. Salvation going to the Father is brought by Jesus the good. Jesus is the good. Jesus is the righteous. Jesus is the holiness. Everything that man is not. And yet Jesus had done being a man and being God. He was made sin for us who knew no sin. That we may obtain the righteousness of God in Him, Jesus. The only time you're going to do God's good is when you do the good of Jesus Christ and not of yourself. Now the Bible says about preaching and getting the gospel out, God says He loves them feet. Romans chapter 10. But my preaching is not always good. I may get in the flesh. I may get a little prideful. I may not do it for the glory and honor of Jesus Christ alone. Then it's no good. But when it's given all credit and all for Jesus Christ, be good. Our good is not our good, but it's the good of Jesus Christ. In the eyes of God, that's good. And when you do good outside of Jesus, your good is no good before God. Because God's good is not your good, because your good is not Jesus. It's that plain and simple. And you hear all the time, and ever how long 2019 is from 1987 when I first got saved, how many years that has been for the public ministries and the witnessing to people and getting the gospel, how many people have told me, well, I'm good? That seems to be one of the standard procedures of answering a preacher, I'm good, we're good. No, you're not. Now, maybe to another human being, you are good. But I'm good is not going to get you to heaven. I am a sinner and I need to repent of my sins. I need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. And many good churches out there don't preach the repentance of sin. They're no good. Salvation without repentance is no good. It is evil and wicked. You are not good enough. You may be good in giving to charities, but being good given to charities is not charity. Charity is that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. That's charity. Charity is love in action. And when you give your money to a charity, and they use it for the executives and the offices and the, the members of the staff and the members of the board, you're not given to a charity. You're giving it to somebody to get a paycheck. That's not charity. Because when God gives his charity, when he gave Jesus Christ, who is all love, I love Jesus, but Jesus loved me first. How did he love me? 
He gave me charity by suffering and dying on that cross, according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And that is what is good in the eyes of God. Now let's look at you. You're good. You're going to die. The wages of sin is death. You are a sinner. You're going to die because you sin. It is because God died on that cross, not for his sins. <coughs> But for our sins, sins is what slain Jesus upon that cross. It is sins that are going to kill us. The wages of sin is death. You do a very good job at dying. Check out cemeteries. Check out funeral homes and crematoriums. Man does a good job of dying because he's a sinner. And that's not good in the eyes of God. God says, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God is not pleased with a wicked man that dies. That's not good. And yet that wicked man will say, I'm good. And he dies in his sin. And he takes his goodness to hell with him. Because he has not taken the goodness of God, Jesus Christ. You see, God's good is not your good. Because you are no good. Thank you. All right. When I was laughing, I was laughing about special places. But I'm never laughing at anything. Our good gets us into hell. Our good gets us into trouble. Our good is not God's good. And when you pass off, oh, I'm good, preacher. Not in the eyes of God. Unless you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And your sins are washed by you repenting in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no hope in your good. There is no satisfaction of you being good before God without Jesus Christ. There is no good when you do not have Jesus Christ, the good and righteous. There is no resting in peace when you rest in your good. You will be T-I-H. T-I-H is tormented in hell for being good. When you rely on your goodness and not God's goodness, Jesus Christ, Jesus will say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, though you're good, I never knew you. In God's terminology of good, there is no good but that of his son, Jesus. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that is good in the eyes of God. 
God, I give money. God, I go to church. God, look at me. God, look what I do. God, see me. That's not good. Only a dollar, guys. Only a dollar. Only a dollar, guys. Everybody coming up on the dollar. God. Having a lot of money coming up again. So love the world. That's good. That's a good good. How much is that for the big ones? And $23, $22. That he gave, that's good. God gave, that's charity. God gave to a charity outside of what your charity is. God gave to you. His only begotten son. Jesus Christ. That whosoever, that's you, believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ is good. Rejecting Jesus is no right. good. Though you are good. Though you are good, you're no good without Jesus Christ. For the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Now, let's look at that verse for a minute. There is none that doeth good. Well, preacher, no, no. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. No. To rebuke you, there is none. And I guarantee when I preach that you're no good, somebody, well, me, no, says the Bible. Counteract what you believe. The Bible says no, not one. It includes you. You are not the exception to the rule of goodness. No matter what you do. Except. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, that's good. That is approved of God. Well, preacher, I'm a Republican. That's not good. Oh, you're Democrat. No, that's not good. The governments of the world are no good. You say, preacher, where do you stand politically? I vote for Jesus. Because he will be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords one day. He's also my Savior. For I have repented of my sins, and I still repent of my sins. And Paul says, and I won't be able to quote this, but Paul says, and I believe it's the book of Romans, he says, the good that I would, I don't. <laughs> and as a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, I want to do good for God, and I fail. I sin. I got to think about it, and it's a sin. I don't have to do the the the, the act, actual work, but if I think about it, it's a sin. And many of our thoughts are no good, and they are sin. The Bible says, "For whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her in his heart has committed adultery with her." Thinking those suggested thoughts about that woman is no good. Because it makes you an adulterer. Makes you a sinner. And when you are put to question of your actions, and you think about, well, how can I get out of this reaction that I got myself into? That's no good. Because the first reaction to get out of the just tell the truth. Anything but the truth is a lie. That's not good. 
listening to the preacher Saturday after Saturday after Saturday and not believing on the Jesus that he preaches is no good. Now you may make good money here at the farmer's market, but that's no good. You cannot take your money and your fruits and vegetables with you into the afterlife. And we die because we're no good. You say, preacher, are you going to die? Yes, I'm going to die. Why? Because I'm no good. I'm a sinner. I'm a saved sinner. And when I go to glory and I get the brand new body and I become sinless, I'll never sin again. I will never die. Why? Because I have the goodness of God. Well, what about on this life right now? I've got the goodness of God and I've got the goodness of man. The wages of sin is death. That goodness of sin will result in death. And if you count on being good when before you die and in your death and how good you are, the good that you have done will get you into hell. For there is none that doeth good, no, not one. And if you think you can do good and go to heaven and be pleasing of God, you have twisted the scriptures. You want God to do something to you, to you that God said he would not do in the Holy Scriptures. God will not allow you into heaven Bullshit. doing good. Bullshit. That's not Thanks. good. Bullshit. God will let you in there if you believe in him. Bullshit. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's glory is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The salvation of God is through Jesus Christ and the good that Jesus had done is the good work that Jesus done that he suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's good. Mixing God with animal turds is not good. A mouth of a man that will speak of God in that way is not good. Would you really think that the God in heaven would be pleased with the testimony of that man that just came by? Those words were not good. So you think that, hey, I am cussing, I am, I am cussing God, the holy God. God, is, you know, thinks I'm good. You're a fool. It's a foolishness. And all men are fools. <laughs> if you look at the word fool, foolishness, and folly in the Bible, you will find yourself many places, not all, but many places you'll find yourself a fool. I have, I have done this study and found myself a fool. My years of testimony, 
my years of witnessing, I have found many people think they're good, especially with a filthy mouth, they're no good. But they proclaim to be good. And they have sinned by being a liar. Because you don't match God's goodness. And the goodness of God is Jesus Christ and no other. Listen, even the Old Testament had to, had to, had to wait for the finished work of Jesus for the redemption. All the blood of the bulls and the goats and the lambs were to picture one lamb. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You're not the glory of God. Jesus Christ is. And when you get your head out of the clouds, you will find yourself in righteousness and in heaven beyond the clouds when you put your faith and trust and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For the Bible says, the Bible says, not me, not the preacher, the Bible says, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. And the Bible goes on to say that he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Oh, preacher, I'm good. Do you have Jesus? No, you're going to get hell. So you're good. You're good ends up with no good without Jesus Christ the good. And you know it's a sad fact. Many good people will not like glory. Because when you say, preacher, I'm good, you want me to fall down and worship you. You want me to applaud, say, oh, look how good you are. Oh, yes, the good human being. That's not like that in glory. We worship no man in New Jerusalem but the man Christ Jesus. The better than good. In heaven, we worship Jesus Christ and no man. There are great men and preachers of the faith of the Bible in church history. We're not going to heaven to worship Paul. We are sure not going to heaven to worship Peter. Charles Finley and, and Billy Sunday will not be worshipped. Your favorite preacher will not be worshipped in glory. It will be the good of Jesus Christ that we worship and pray. All honor and glory to Jesus Christ. There is no glory and glorying in yourself because you have stolen the glory of God. It's that simple. You want to please God? Take away your goodness and apply God's goodness, Jesus Christ.
Listen, there's only one name. There's one. There's only one name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. Many of you don't even know my name. Who cares about my name? My name is not good. My name is mud. I'm made from dirt. And I will go back to dirt. And then I will be raptured by God. That's good. I can't bring myself up. Listen, I'm trying to tell you today, there's only one good. And that good is Jesus Christ. You may good you may do good things but in the eyes of holiness and God you don't Now you may feed the homeless That's not good enough You know what God does he saves the whole the homeless And he gives them a mansion in glory You try that You may think good is I give to charity. God's goodness is He gives the blood of Jesus Christ to save your soul. You may think, well, I'm good. I help people in disasters. Well, God's good is He helps people in their sin and brings them out of disasters into a place called New Jerusalem. Now, how's your good doing to compare to what God's doing? Which is not only good, it's better. Listen, one day the Lord tarries, I'm going to die. The goodness of God is he's going to resurrect my body. A saved child of God, I will come out of that grave and he'll give me a brand new body. That's good. I can't do that. Oh, I can become a plastic surgeon and give you a good body, but it ain't going to last. It's still going to die because you're good. And your good is sin and the wages of sin is death. And plastic size yourself you're still going to die. But the brand new body that God will give you through the goodness of Jesus Christ is a holy, never to sin and never to die body that will have no more sorrow and no more pain for all eternity. That's good. Your doctor may give you pain relief for four to eight hours. That's good. Hey, if you can be without pain for four to eight hours, that's very good. But how about having no pain for all eternity? That's very good. How do you look in the mirror? You're aging. You're getting old. You're breaking down. God will give you a brand new body that will not break down, that will not sin, that will not age, that will not wrinkle, and it will be the same body you had the day you got it. That's very good. But that all comes by Jesus Christ. It does not come by you being good. Somewhere in your good life, I can find wrong. Somewhere you did wrong. You're not good enough.
You know, when they take a show dog at these dog meetings, and you may see them on TV, they got these beautiful, wonderful pedigree dogs. And they examine that dog. And if they find one thing wrong with that dog, that dog will lose. That dog will not get the pedigree of that organization. Because that dog is no good. Get it out of here. And when God finds one sin in our life, we're no good. Get them out of here. Now, let's look at the ten basic no goods of mankind, shall we? Number one, have you ever not put God first? You woke up this morning with God the glory. Did you? You didn't? You're no good. I didn't do it. I don't wake up every morning to God be the glory. Thank you, God. How's that? Number two. Have you got an idol or an image in your heart that's not God? Have you got an actor, an actress, a ball player, a sports figure, or do you have somebody or something in your heart that's not God? You're no good. Oh, this thing's going to make me money. I am going to retire on this thing. That's no good. My retirement is in God through Jesus Christ and the outstanding benefits He's going to give me. In the retirement of God that I put in, I'll never grow old. In the retirement of this earth, you still grow old, you're still going to die. Number three. Have you ever taken God's name in vain? I mean, you never OMG. You've never taken the name of Jesus in vain. You have never said, oh God. You never GD'd. You know what I'm saying. You have, you're no good. How you doing with honoring your parents? You were that perfect, wonderful child of all. You were to your parents, Jesus Christ manifested in the flesh. No? Then you're no good. How about adultery? The Bible says, whosoever looketh upon a woman that lusts after her in heart has already committed adultery. Have you thought about a woman in a sexual nature? The Bible says thinking is a sin. Thinking is adultery. How you doing? Good. You're no good. Have you ever bared a false report? Have you ever told one lie? You have? You're no good. Have you ever coveted something? Have you ever watched the TV and you see that ad? Oh, I gotta have that. I gotta go out. I gotta buy that. You have? That's coveting. You're no good. You're a sinner. Have you ever taken something that's not yours? Oh, that pen, that paper clip? You have? You're no good. You're a sinner. I lost what number I was at. Messed myself up. But haven't you got the point already? You're no good. 
When you die, you become dust and ashes and you stink. Your decaying body does smell no good. How's that? You need deodorant because you're no good. And then you come up and say, Preacher, I'm good. Do you have B.O.? Do you need deodorant? Then you're no good. Are you satisfied looking at yourself in the mirror? Then you're no good. And everything in all righteousness and all holies in that which is good, Jesus Christ. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved is good. Thinking you can do, thinking you can please God, thinking you, 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 that's not good. I'm going to be very careful with what I'm going to say next. I'm going to come right out with a little statement. I don't believe in Christmas. I don't think Christmas is Bible. I don't think you put Christ in Christmas. It does not belong. That's a little statement. But how dare you celebrate the birth of Jesus when you don't even believe in Jesus? You dare to take a gift on Christmas and you reject the gift of God, eternal life. You're no good. That's what the Bible says. Hey, I'm just going by what people tell me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, you're not. Jesus Christ is good. Well, preacher, you do a good job preaching. No, I don't. I misquote the scriptures. I say the wrong thing. Sometimes I don't have the proper heart. That's not good. Some people can't sing good. Some preachers can't preach good. Yeah, that was the play. God's goodness is not us. We're sinners. God created us, but we sinned against God. That's not good. Disobeying and rebellion is not good, especially when it's to God. You know, you look at these tomatoes, they're good. I love tomatoes. But if you find a worm in your tomato, that's not good. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You must count your all, your all, your all, in and all, of all, all, of goodness to be Jesus Christ and nothing and nobody else but Jesus Christ. For God to be pleased. Again, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, not your goodness. Jesus said, I am the way. No one's good enough to get to glory except those who put their faith in Jesus. It's a hot day. And this bottle of water is good. But the water of life, Jesus Christ, is better. 
man that made bottled water are good. But they're not going to heaven because they produce water. They filled the bottles with water, but God created the water. And God has given us the water of life. That's better than good. That's righteousness. And you need not be good to go to heaven. You need righteousness. And the Bible says there is none righteous. No, not one. So there is none that do it good and there's none righteous. You need Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't rock around the tree, you get on your knees at the tree of Calvary. Calvary is good in the eyes of God. What's this you want to be good before God the Father? Receive the Lord Jesus Christ, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and repent of your sins. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's good. Going to heaven by Jesus Christ is good. Going to heaven by your goodness is no good. Your goodness gets torment. God's goodness gets mercy and grace and glory to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It's plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You ought to be looking for Jesus and not Santa. There is no Santa. He is a lie. And when you teach your children about Santa, you are lying. You're not good. Good parents don't teach their children about a liar called Santa. Good parents teach their children about Jesus. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. You say anything about Santa. I have to throw that in there because we're coming around Santa's birthday. It ain't the birthday of Jesus. It's the birthday of Santa. I mean, Satan, Santa, whatever his name is. It's Baal's birthday, not Jesus. For God so loved the world, that's good, that he gave charity, that's greater. His only begotten son, Jesus, the good, that whosoever believes in him, that's good, shall not perish, that's good, have everlasting life, that's good. Oh, preacher, I'm good, that's not good.
He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. That's not good. And the wrath of God is by you believing in your goodness. I'm proud to be American. That's not good. I'm proud to be a child of God. That's good. I'm a Republican. That's not good. I'm a Christian. I'm Democrat. That's no good. I'm a child of God through Jesus Christ. That's good. There's no satisfaction in God and what man can do, but what the man, Christ Jesus, has done. You must Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no satisfaction outside of Jesus Christ. You are never and will be never good enough to please God. That was Jesus' role. And when the roll is called up yonder, I will be there by what Jesus has done and not because of my goodness. Many people wake up in hell saying, oh, it's good. That's your place. Many people wake up in heaven. Oh, Jesus is good. That's their place. Where does God put his attention to? Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Go ahead, be good. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. <laughs>